and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chance and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Bant value. That's right, I'm excited to play this one. We're bringing creatures back. It's tough playing creatures these days with Field of the Dead playing all their sweepers and uh, even more so though with Oko, Thief of Crown, turning any cool creature that you play into a 3-3 elk. It's pretty rough. But we're going to go ahead and try. We, of course, have to be playing Okos, though. You know, playing blue-green. Just kind of have to be playing um, Oko. So, you know, we're, we got that card in here. But, as you can see, we got a lot of creatures, including Charming Prince, one of my favorite cards from Throne of Eldraine. Charming Prince can do a lot of cool things. You know, can, you know, scry early on to help us set up our draw steps. You gain life if we need it. But then also the exile target creature you own and return it back uh, to the battlefield under your control that can resell, reset elks. You have Oko does elk creatures. We can reset them with Charming Prince. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, so like what we got going on here, of course, is the main part of it is Neoform, Prime Speaker, Vanifar. Yeah, like we're trying to go up the chain and have a whole bunch of um, uh, creatures that, you know, we may need in different situations. Like, do we need a removal spell? We can turn a Risen Reef into a Wicked Wolf or a Charming Prince into a Deputy Detention. Do we need to gain some life, draw a card? Well, then Risen Reef goes, turns into Elite Guard Mage. Or, you know, after, you know, when we got our Elite Guard Mage, you know, do we need removal? Well, Cavalier of Dawn can kill Oko, for example. Do we need uh, removal for a small creature and life gain? We got Tulsimer. We got Chu Lane that can get us just a ton of card advantage. We can go go find a Chu Lane here. And we got a sweet Mesmerizing Benthid in here. Um, and yeah, Mesmeriz so Mesmerizing Benthid was a card that for this donation deck wanted to have in it. And this was like kind of like the shell that I thought that could maybe support Mesmerizing Benthid the best. You know, it's a, it's a four or five that makes two O2 creatures. Um, so we have, you know, so it's it's three bodies total. And so if you have multiple bodies, of course, Oko can turn those other bodies that are O2s, you can turn those into 3-3s. So having multiple bodies with Oko, uh, they can immediately turn them into 3-3s. That's um, a good deal to have. We have like the Charming Prince that can flicker Mesmerizing Benthid to make more O2s. We have um, like, so, so that's something we can do with it. You know, we can also take the 4-5 body and then turn it into a 6-drop. And our sixth drop that we have here is Harmonious Archon. And then also Harmonious Archon just works really well with Mesmerizing Benthid because uh, Harmonious Archon just says that all your non-Archon creatures have a power and toughness of 3-3. Three, three. So even though we make two O2s with the Benthid, we play the Archon, and now suddenly those O2s are 3-3s, three, and all the opponent's creatures are 3-3s. Three, and so they're just as big, and so we can attack, and you know we can get into combat with some 3-3s three, there. So that's pretty awesome. So yeah, this deck has just a, a lot of uh, cool creatures in it, cool value creatures. That's why we call it value. Um, and uh, that's that's kind of about it. I think like the the main core of the deck is going to be Charming Prince, Risen Reef, and Oko. And as you can tell, I'm not really playing other elementals. We got the one Cavalier of Dawn, but just even turning you know like turning Charming Princes into Risen Reefs to draw cards, and then you know you can turn your Risen Reef into something else if you want. That's going to be pretty valuable. Uh, top end, we got two Agent of Treachery because that card is just, you know, really busted. So we got two Agent of Treacheries at the top end and one the Great Henge for even more card advantage. Sideboard-wise, you can see here our plan against Golos is going to be going with a bunch of Ashiox. Uh, that's our plan over there. Um, I got even more Deputies in the sideboard. So we have four Deputies to for our opponents, Okos. You know, like against Oko decks, we're probably going to need all of the Deputies to try to take down their Okos. This isn't really a deck where we could run Spyglass because we're playing our own Okos as well. And then we got extra removal. You know, if we're playing against aggro, we got an extra Wicked Wolf, extra Tulsimer if we're playing against aggro. If we're playing against um, a deck where we know the game's going to go long, we got an extra Agent of Treachery. And then Knight of Autumn can blow up some artifacts and enchantments. Veil of Summer is ridiculously powerful, so that's in there too. And we got this sweet-looking band deck. All right, so we're going to play a league here. We're going to see if we get to five wins before two losses. And I'm excited to play this one. Um, I don't think Brawl's available yet. I think it, I think they said it, it starts like the 24th of October. So like maybe 
um, maybe like Wednesday, whatever day that is. Okay, so n no like real early plays, but we're on the play. So hopefully having, you know, turn three, we can start going with Oko and Reef. Which one should we lead with? I'm not sure. We'll kind of let's see what my opponent does. All right, bunch of nothing. And so it looks like they're Jeskai. Well, I mean, obviously they're Jeskai, but so probably like a Jeskai control deck. It's probably better to have Oko in play. The brambles of truth twirl and curl. Immediately. It's not poisoned. Trust me. Thanks, Storm. Yeah, Elite Guard Mage, that's an underrated card. Behold, new wonders. Hmm. So I have, I have triple white. We're good there. I already have double green. We're pretty good there. Let's get this other blue source. Let's get double blue. I invite you to change your ways. I will craft your demise. So we can neoform into a five drop next turn. So I could like neoform for Chu Lane. Really use another land. I have 26 lands in this deck because I want to hit land drops. Fortunately, we didn't hit another land drop here. Um, I could definitely, I could deputy this fires of invention. That's something we could do. We could definitely go that route. I kind of just want to play the Vanifar. I could Risen Reef try to get a land and then we play the land and then like what do we you know then what like we neoform I'm going to lead with the Vanifar I think a little merriment is in order was a bad play against the fairy. I've got it. All right, my play was bad against the fairy. There's so many options. None of them are that great. Oh dear. Could have traded like the food token for their 3-3 with Oko. 
I could, you know, like another thing that I could have done is like Risen Reef, sack Risen Reef, go grab Spark Double and have Spark Double copy Oko. So we have two Okos in play. Hey, Jetter. Yeah, we'll, we'll yeah we'll definitely probably play some some brawl on Wednesdays. I've got time. Hmm. Is that my best use of Neoform? Spark Double Oko? Welcome to the feast. One bite, and all your cares are gone. So much loyalty. Hero Shook, getting that Terminator bonus. Thanks, Hero Shook. I need some candy. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? Let's try this. invite you to change your ways. Gaze into my Definitely getting Sahili out of here. That card's been a huge nuisance. I guess we're getting Teferi also. Check out these fireworks. We can rebuild. Interesting creature. Let's see how you work. Mind and body. Keep an open mind. Hmm. Don't need those. Surely you must be famished. One bite, and all your cares are gone. I can have, uh, I can have Deputy clean up a bunch of tokens to be able to make sure we get through as far as attacking goes next turn. Deceit. Good. They, they grabbed the wrong Oko. They grabbed the, le the legendary Oko. Now I can play a new one. Which I thought they would because like that one had more loyalty. So it makes sense that they did that. But it's going to be the wrong one. Okay. 
So what do we, what do we want to grab? Do we want to grab, I guess, Chu Lane. The Wicked Wolf. Turn Wicked Wolf into Chu Lane. Hmm. Okay. I think that's what we do. Maybe it's Deputy, but Deputy, I don't have anything really good to grab with Deputy. Kind of have too many options here. Alright, no, I gotta play Deputy. Because Deputy allows me to play this other Oko. Oh I will invert the world to watch kings grovel and worms ru Your new look is enchanting. So I'm killing Chandra. Reduced to embers. Risen Reef. So, you know, <clears throat> I have the two Agent of Treacheries. They're going to be pretty important. We do need a seventh land for those. But I, I did purposely take out Cavalier of Thorns from this deck because of the Cavalier of Thorns milling five cards over. I was worried about that and winning games. All right, so I can I can deputy that that thing. We don't have to be worried about the the we don't have to be worried about those at all. Um, all right, so let's see, because we can just keep making food. I guess having Narset in play means we don't get to draw cards. We kind of want to draw cards. What? Name just I jump block. Not, but I must tend to my creations. It's not poison. Surely you must be famished. I mean, they just gotta have a sweeper, right? All right, I'm I'm switching my mind up. For what I was gonna do. Actually, I was gonna go grab Chu Lane. But let's, we'll just get another Risen Reef. And this this lets me keep Wicked Wolf alive. Through a sweeper. Where like, you know, they play a sweeper, I wouldn't have had anything left. Yeah, so their plan was just a time wipe anyway. I don't I don't know why they didn't block. Last turn.
<laughs> yeah, we have two Oko. One's not one's not enough. Because we got Spark Double. Well darn. That card's amazing. No, I didn't kill Narsa first. <laughs> I'm dumb. All right, you make another food. <laughs> I got too excited. Let's broaden your existence. Too excited. <laughs> it happens. Still have much to learn. Uh. It's nice having a really good two mana card like Charming Prince, though, where, um, yeah, you know, like where we can turn Gilded Goose into a Charming Prince that can, you know, like reset stuff and everything. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how my opponent's killing this wolf with double Oko, and now, you know, like, we're taking two damage a turn from Chandra Emblems, but we're gaining two life a turn from Great Hen, so that's not much. Like, my opponent has to have, like, their own, like, Agent of Treacheries or something. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Still got 31 cards. Doing pretty good. No, I am not making this up as I go. Could have fooled me. So they're bouncing Wicked Wolves, so we get to just replay it and draw an extra card now with the Great Henge, so that's cool. I guess I wait a turn on casting Chulane. So Chulane doesn't just die to a sweeper here. Oh dear. It's not poisoned. Trust me. No, fires is an enchantment. We can't steal fires of invention with Oko. Oko steals artifacts. But I don't. I don't really want fires. I want to be able to play more than two things a turn. And like they have infinite mana, I don't care that they get to cast two things a turn. Fires doesn't doesn't really do anything. I guess fires does does allow them to cast black spells if they have black remove. You know, we hadn't seen Fey of Wishes at all, so I was I was kind of thinking they weren't a Fey of Wishes deck. But this does allow them to get Elder Spell or Planar Cleansing. <clears throat> Which that's bad. You're too close minded. Give my Oko back. Me is absolute nonsense. And absolutely true. If you show remorse, I'll show you. Here we go. No, the resolution's good. I need to remember to just reset. That's a Kenrith's a, a huge problem. So I guess planar cleansing into Kenrith. I need a, I want to reset my router. It's not fair. I meant to do that the other day. 
All right, well, that's a big problem. Kenrith. Yeah, I'm glad we waited on the two lane. My opponent's card in hand was flashing like they were gonna play it. I guess I guess it could be because of Ken they have, yeah, they have the activated ability off Kenrith. I don't think they have mystical dispute in their fires of invention deck. Yeah, it's getting lucky that, or sorry, it's, it's getting laggy. It's getting laggy, though. All right, so they don't get to just bounce Fae of Wishes. They don't get to just bounce Fae of Wishes and go find something else cool from their sideboard. They need black mana to bring it back. They don't have black mana. Is that lethal? Do you I'll protect you. 17. Me. I mean, I get to chump block with Gilded Goose. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, they can't minus and plus. You can't minus hand plus, right? I was thinking, like, they make a dragon, they tick up Sarkid, and, you know, give them all haste. Hey, Jokers. Two lane bouncing agent and treachery is pretty dirty. You know, three mana, you get to bounce a creature. One, two, three, four. This is land number five. Food so Wicked Wolf doesn't die to a sweeper. They got 23 left in library, I got 21. Man, our deck is sweet. I have less than 15 minutes left on my timer. <laughs> this deck does have tons and tons of options. All right, well, I guess I should attack. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. This is probably lethal, right? Nine, 11, 12, 13, 14. Activate. Put counters on creatures. Uh, are 
Arena's being too laggy. I feel like I'm going to time out this match. Yay, we did it. Yeah, Saddle the Wreckage rotated out. <clears throat> yeah, if we played black, I'd be a lot more interested in putting Kenrith in here, but you know, like the haste and the reanimate are two awesome parts of Kenrith. Hey Zoltan. Um so that was pretty sweet. I don't really want to play another one of those games. <laughs> We're going to have to, though. That was just game one. I could go for, like, the Ashiok mill my opponent out game plan. Instead of the attacking them to death game plan. Definitely have to be a lot, really worried about planar cleansing. Planar cleansing completely wrecked me and probably will wreck me again. Tomorrow, best of one stream. Um, I don't feel like deputy attention's too good, even though it can clear up a bunch of tokens. I get an extra wicked wolf in here because those are hard to kill. All right, I'm gonna have to play faster. I did not play too fast there. It's the thing about playing, you know, Neoform and Vanifar. There's just so many options. I guess Vanifar should have been a card that I sideboarded out, like one of the copies, because of just tons of sweepers. Vanifar is less good. Oh darn! <laughs> I was saying I gotta play faster, so I was just already playing this, uh, and then I drew a goose. That was unfortunate. Being able to untap with Vanifar? No. I say being able to untap with Vanifar is really nice. That's more like it. I guess we don't get to. Open your heart to the magic that dances. Surely you must be famished. All right, we'll just get Oko and play. I want this other food in here. So you, you know, if they have Clarion. Oh, I've done the hero thing. I guess I don't get to stop instant speed Clarion. Hey, what's up, Adam? All right, well, there's no instance to be clear on anymore. Thanks for that resub there, third sub of the day. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Yeah, I definitely could have played this better. You know, turn one goose, turn two Oko would have helped me a lot more than what I than what I ended up doing. So it's either get another Oko and play with Spark Double or Vanifar so I can turn Charming Prince into Knight of Autumn.
I mean, obviously there's nothing wrong with getting two lane in play either, though. about me is absolute nonsense. I think a little merriment is in order. Your new look is enchanting. This is hardly my worst defeat. Yeah, please don't planar cleansing again this time, opponent. Yeah, they can time wipe with Fires of Invention. It still only does five damage. You get to draw a card though with Kenrith here. Problem, of course, is Time White picks Kenrith back up. Time Wipe's really annoying. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. I mean, I need seven mana to steal it. Oh, I guess I could I could have stolen it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, I, for I forgot about Oko stealing it. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Yeah, that, that would have been a better play if I would have used the, the little Oko to make it a 3-3 and then the big Oko to trade my food for it. Yeah, that's what I should have done. Hey, Grim. Yeah, that, that would have been a lot better play. At least now if they time wipe and pick it up, they don't get to replay it because they play Drawn from Dreams. New Kenrith. Bunch of Kenrith over there. That's not so bad for me. I think that's Trample. Oh, the red thing gives a trample. It's not poisoned. Trust me. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Surely you must be famished. Yeah, I know, eleven minutes gotta hurry up. Kenrith's out of here, so Field of the Dead, or so Time Wipe does it, redraw it. They gotta have Time Wipe here though, but I mean, it's just worth it to play Charming Prince because we draw a card.
All right, now we get to Agent of Treachery. May we meet again, or not? You help me, I'm banned. Thank you. Day I craft my I'm gonna save Agent for something better than just than just the blue land. Planar cleansing is kinda of nuts. Destroy so many things. I was hoping they were gonna tick up so I could steal it and then Minus and kill fires of invention. Nine minutes left here. There's always just like early concede and go to like the next game because of the clock. Give, like I'm gonna want enough time to be able to finish a game three. Secrets manifest. This one's definitely not over. Like, we're not doing that bad. No, you... Yeah, no, you can't... No, yeah, see... The question was, can you fires and then cleansing Nova and then play a new fires and cleansing Nova again? But when you when you play your new fires, you're done playing spells because you can only play two spells a turn. I didn't just use the agent of treachery to steal an island, though. Put thoughtfulness before action. Harmonious Archon is not very good in this. It's not very good in this matchup. I realize I shouldn't have made that attack. If I were them, I probably would have just let the Teferi die because they got the the backup Teferi. Like that's if they were planning on casting the backup Teferi. That is. So they got triple interplanar beacon. They're going to be at millions of life. Here goes nothing. I have reached my limit. I'm going to the next game to try to have enough time for the next game. So I feel like maybe just going Ashiok mill out plan is the way to go here. You know, like their whole deck is so so good at defense. My deck's not really that good at offense.
right? Take out the Vanifars. I'll keep the Neoforms in to still be able to do that kind of stuff. Play a Deputy. Do I take out the Great Henge? That feels weird. I want to deputy because like they have they can have like just a ton of you know one one creatures. I want to be able to deputize them. I want to have one deputy in here. Do I not play? I guess I don't need the mesmerizing benthid. Okay. What's it doing for me right now? Drawing a lot of cards. So I don't run out of cards even whenever they planar cleansing. Yeah, that's... I think there's just a, a pretty decent chance that I win this game on getting rid of the 60 cards in their library easier than getting rid of the 20 life that they start with. And so that's what... That's what Ashiok's for, to do that. Yeah, Ashiok's, Ashiok's quicker at winning. See, got rid of the Ugin, got rid of Kenrith. Got rid of a lot of good cards there. Yeah. GG. Good plan. Good plan. All right, I'm gonna reset Arena again. I know it's just it was just one match, but Arena's still just acting even like as we saw like those prizes and everything took a while to come up. <clears throat> yeah, turns out two different C three CMC Planeswalkers by turn three. When you're on the draw, it's difficult to deal with. Yeah, eight minutes to spare. So yeah, I think we did pretty well there. I think just conceding early, giving us a lot of time. And then going Ashiok route. One thing that I really like, as, as we saw how we got to Spark Double Oko both of those games, this, this deck can uh, Spark Double um, kind of like a little bit more reliably with having the Neoforms and Vanifars and stuff. And so against Golos, having you know Spark Double Ashiok gives you some incredible mill power. Cool, Grim Intent. Yeah, go ahead and you can put it here in the chat and I'll take a look at it. I'll see if I get to it one of these coming days. Cavalcade. This is tough between Scry 2 or Gain 3, honestly. Hmm. I want both of these cards. I want... Actually, I want it like this. So I'll, I'll shock Risen Reef. And then get the planes for free. And play. Because basically, so I could have, I could have, you know, taken the planes, play Risen Reef, and then we draw the Neoform. And by the way, that's that's a pretty cool thing of how Charming Prince can set up Risen Reef, by the way. But anyway, so we could have done that. Um, but then we don't have the fourth land in play. 
So my plan here is go Charming Prince, gain a three, and then Neoform Charming Prince away for Deputy and take the Cavalcade. I think that's my plan. Could just like Wicked Wolf the Banneret. Maybe Wicked Wolf the Banneret's better. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. All right, so this is my plan. Okay. So my plan is Wicked Wolf not die and me not die. All right, that's the plan. All right, looks like that plan's going to happen. So I take four. That's fine. All right, now we're going to attack here. Now we're going to go grab Tulsimer. Tulsimer makes a legendary wolf. So I want this legendary wolf to die. So we're going to fight this Rimrock and Knight. And then we're going to flicker Tulsimer. And have Tulsimer come back. Gain another three life. Now our... Legendary Wolf is alive. And boom. What a turn. <clears throat> now that is some Vant value right there. What a turn. Man, our deck is sweet. Team Rocker is nearly... <clears throat> Yep, Jokers, yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. So yeah, glad glad you're having a lot of success with Teamer Walkers against Field of the Dead. Because yeah, that's that's why I built the deck to yeah, have the Sarkin flying over the top. Alright, Knight of the Autumn. Knight of the Autumn? No, Knight of Autumn in here, and then extra wolf, extra wolf. Um Agent of Treachery out, Harmonious Archon. I think Harmonious Archon out. Right, because like Harmonious Archon turns their little one ones into three threes. And that's Annoying. Um, this is 63. There's nothing here that I don't really like. I like everything in here. I guess... Ugh, we gotta take out Benthid or Cavalier. I guess, I mean, I think we have to take out either Cavalier or Benthid or Chulane. We gotta take out one of these fives. Um... Maybe two of them, honestly. Yeah, maybe two of them. All right, two lane bented. And one Risen Reef, I guess. I gotta take them out. <clears throat> Would you ever do a full mono black vampire deck? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I we actually played a mono black vampire deck. I don't know, a couple months ago. I had a donation deck for that though. It was before rotation. But yeah, so so yeah, I would definitely play. That. Demir flash. Yeah, that looks kind of cool. Demir flash. Ten Street Dodger. Looking pretty dodgy over there. Yeah, that that goblin's pretty dodgy. Basically, yeah, I'm going with the Great Henge. Because, you know, obviously it's it's hard to get in play. But if we get it in play, just every single turn gaining two life is really powerful. But I do acknowledge it's difficult to get him in play.
That'd be shocking a lot. <sighs> Abs and wolves. Um. I think I've, like with Abs and wolves. I think we're gonna struggle against Simic. I think that's gonna be a pretty big struggle for Abs and wolves. Maybe Abzan Wolves plays a bunch of spy glasses for Oko. I invite you to change your ways. Alright, we'll just gain the life. One bite, and all your cares are gone. See, so yeah, I could dep like, you know, they didn't play. They didn't ever play any, you know, anything to Knight of Autumn. Deputy doesn't seem too useful, so I'm just gonna go grab a Risen Reef. Hey, how about that? All right, thanks, Grim Intent. Yeah. I got that down in my tons of decks to, you know, think about, get to, and that kind of stuff. And yeah, so no, no promises if or when I'll play it, but um, it does look pretty interesting there. Down to nine. Cavalcade of Calamity. I could have probably trimmed a land also with how I lowered my curve so much. That's probably a thing I could have done. I think we got this with our, with our opponent just being stuck on two lands. You know, like this is just one person having tons of mana, the other person not. It's not poor. <laughs> Thanks, Exerbs. Yeah, glad glad you're really liking this deck. Yeah, I was definitely excited to play this one. All right, we're two now. We get a pack. We got Arnville Paladin Cosmetic. Crack a pack. Get a Mythic Rare. Nah, 20 gems. There's still Mythics I need. But we got all the rares. So since we have all the rares, we opened a rare, but we have all of them, so they just give us gems instead. <clears throat> yep, exactly. Yeah, I think you know. Last time, whenever I I played this deck, I it was just like the, my curve was too high. Um, I didn't have enough lands, and I was playing Teferi's instead of Oko's. And Oko, like how you said, you said Oko gives the deck some breathing room to actually do its Neo form and flicker shenanigans. And I and I agree. Like Oko is j just so strong that it allows the deck to. 
to have more time. Awesome. Thanks, Aduriel. Sorry, I just saw that. Um, yeah, send, yeah, send me the, the PM and we'll get a booster opened here. It's probably just going to be 20 gems, though, since, since we have the rares. <laughs> Prince Charming. Yeah, I really like this card. Ugh, we need land. I don't know if that's better than scrying two, but you know, like this means that like for sure we'll have three mana next turn. Thanks, Adriel. Every tale about me is absolute. Welcome to the feast. Hmm. I really wish we had more mana. I'm playing twenty six in here. So, you know, I can Deputy Oko. Why do you cross me? Open your heart to the magic. It's like my opponent's gonna have a better hand, likely. I mean, we us not hitting a third land drop is is really bad. Well, no, I was on the play here, so like, it's not like my opponent was missing land drop. They've they've played their three lands. I was on the play. I I didn't. I just didn't hit my third land drop. That was a surprising move. Oh dear. What are we going to need a form? This is my cue to exit. At least they didn't attack me. Oh, oh yeah, definitely charming prince and Abzan wolves for sure. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Over kings and castles. So I can turn I can play goose, get a get a food, neoform, risen reef into a wicked wolf. I 
and kill Questing Beast. Um, kind of just want land drops, though. Alternatively, I can <clears throat> we draw a land and we get to Wicked Wolf and Neoform. My turn. I can turn Neoform into Cavalier of Dawn to kill Oko. <laughs> Fairness. What a bizarre expectation. Three three. All right, so we're definitely getting charming prince. Tell the guns gonna cut them down. Okay. This really helps that we have another food. I'm very thankful we have another food here. How do they not have any food? Why do, why do they have the, all their blue mana untapped? Taking my stuff. Jerk. All right, Charming Prince. That was pretty sweet. We get our Risen Reef back, get two triggers. So that was pretty cool. Hmm. <laughs> Where was this opponent when we faced this deck with Jeskai Walkers? Well, they, they weren't in Mythic, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, we played, you know, we were playing in, in Mythic with Jeskai Walkers. What does the Benthid do in the deck? I don't know, hang out, it's cool. The blocks. It makes, like, the extra tokens, you can turn the extra tokens into 3-3s three with Oko, or you turn them into 3-3s three with Archon. You know, having extra bodies is good with Oko and Archon. Um... I feel like Wicked Wolf's important. Not sure guard mage is important in a battle of three threes. I'm gonna play a couple of Veil of Summers. I know. So, this one played Benthid. Have your opponent really confused? I think we had a, a confused opponent earlier. It's unfortunate the hand looked like really good, but we had to mulligan it. We had a confused opponent earlier whenever we played Chu Lane. They like took a while to read the card and everything. All 
All right, well, this has not been ideal. I will invert the world to watch one bite, and all your cares are gone. Doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. I think a little merriment is in order. A win's a win. So it looks like our opponent's gonna win this game by a mile. I would definitely cycle the Veil of Summer if my opponent played something where I could cycle the Veil of Summer. It's not poisoned. Trust me. So that's a start. It's not fair. Bill Summer doing its thing. As a short-lasted start. It's kind of the problem with WT. I'll shear the wool from your eyes and spin you clarity. I think a little merriment is in order. I, did I take out the Archon? I think I did. Do I want to kill Goose or Paradise Druid? So Goose helps the Wicked Wolf by giving them more food, but with them being stuck on, like if they weren't stuck on mana, I would kill the Goose. But with my opponent being stuck on mana, I'm sure you are um, getting rid of the the Paradise Druid, so that if they need to use, you know, if they're using the Goose for mana, that um, hinders their. their mana output. So can I make my deck better against Mystical Dispute? Not really. I guess the Great Henge is just pretty awful against Oko. We'll take that out. Get this extra Tulsmer in here. Deputy is kind of my answer to their Oko, but it's, it's so rough against Wicked Wolf, unfortunately. I think I still want two Agent of Treachery, two Veil of Summer are good. I hope they don't have that exact same hand. That hand just had everything they want. For sure. Alright, so we get Charming Prince. Here to scry. Looks like they have the exact same hand, unfortunately. Ugh. 
Ugh. I can't afford a tap land next turn. I need to have untap land for Oko. If I just put both of these down at the bottom, though, we may not draw a land. Ugh. I, th I mean, we have to draw a land. I can't. I can't risk not having a land. So I guess we get a temple. Just don't have turn two, Oko, please. Not every game. Ugh, is that turn two Oko every game? Walk with me, sing with me. Welcome to the feast. So hostile to the truth. Ugh, we would have had the land next. So I'm going to be scrying too, but I get, I get to just delay that till after their turn to know a little bit more. You missed turn two, SLC. Steel Leaf Champion. Yeah, Steel Leaf Champion was cool. Nowadays, Steel Leaf Champion is just a 3-3, though. At least they missed their land drop again. One bite, and all your cares are gone. Cavalier is nice, but we need land. All right, so I can either. I think I'm playing Wicked Wolf here. If I kill the Hydra, then we get to attack Oko for four. Or I could kill the goose, but then we have nothing. But then, you know, like they, they're stuck on forest forest if I kill goose. Then they get to minus five the Oko in trade. Good job, Jokers. Good job. We're playing this card. I'd rather kill goose than her Hydra. It's just the thing about killing Hydra is we get to attack Oko for four. I'm just gonna kill. Just gonna kill the goose. Yeah, leaving them on forest, forest. Loyalty is. Of course, that's the problem. Is the trade. That was perfect. Oh, I guess I should have gotten another white source. Oh well. That would have been really bad if Tulsimer was just double white and I just missed that. Mm, you're too close minded. Oko's out of here. No Oko. Every tale about me is we did it. Nonsense. They had turn two Oko, but then they had uh, nothing else. So that worked out. GG's. Now we can do a poll. 
All right, y'all have 60 seconds. Yes or no, will Oko be banned tomorrow? Should we do? Should we say will it be or do you want it to be? Let's do do you want it to be. Would you be happy if Oko was banned tomorrow? Yes or no? You know, think of all the ramifications and everything. This is, would you, would you be happy if Oko was banned tomorrow? Yes or no? <laughs> you got a, a maybe? All right, we had more people say no than yes. 21 no, 16 yes. Surely you must be famished. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of bannings either. So for myself, would I be happy if Oko was banned? No. I don't think I'd be happy because I, I don't like bannings. I think I think I would enjoy playing the standard format more though. I really don't like playing against Oko because I like I like trying to play you know, I like playing mid range creatures and everything, and Oko is just so devastating. I would I would enjoy the format more without Oko, but I don't think I'd be happy with it getting banned. So that's kind of contradictory. A little bit. Looks like our opponent has some gruel intentions for us. I want something more impactful than WT. All right, next question. What about Field of the Dead? Yeah, Field of the Dead is not, like I just said, like a $45 card. You know, getting banned, that could be a huge feel bad for, for people in the wallet and everything. Would you be happy if Field of the Dead was banned? Yes or no? Field of the Dead. Do you want that card banned? Well, that was the really big problem with me doing the minus five is the Mayoko is vulnerable. That's, the OG. That's unfortunate. This is not working out for me. But maybe we, we draw Agent of Treachery. So tomorrow, this time, there was an announcement that said the Field of the Dead is banned. Are you happy? Yes or no? And Field of the Dead is not $45. It's like $3. Yud, 11 months. Ah, thank you so much, Yud. Team chat is so awesome. Definitely. Thank you so much, Yud. Alright, so with so it was 2116 with Oko, people would be happy. With Field of the Dead, it was 32, yes, 8, no. So that's 4 out of 5. So 80% of the people said they would be happy if Field of the Dead was banned.
Mesmerizing Benthid. Here we go. All right, does this card have an animation? I'm not sure if it does or not. Y'all have to, hopefully you're seated at home. You know, if you're not, take a seat. You know, don't, don't want you falling over from too much excitement here or too much shock. Here we go, Mesmerizing Benthid. That was sweet. That was sweet. And now we get to block questing beast. Take that. It has some tentacles. I feel like my opponent has Colossus, which we can't really beat Colossus, to be honest. I guess if, if they do have Colossus... Yeah, like if they have Colossus, is it just like lethal, like Colossus on Lovestruck Beast? So I gotta play like they don't have Colossus. Eh... Even if it's like shock, though. The Shocktopus. Jeff the Car with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Jeff. <laughs> the Octopus really did it for me. Love it. Thank you so much. Alright, so that is lethal. I need to put something in front of the Pell Collector to stop Embercleave. <clears throat> Alright, against aggro. We need more of this, more of that. More of these. I mean, we kind of need to draw spells instead of just all lands. <clears throat> I made the one really bad mistake there that game. Like, the, the thing that cost me that game was the minus five on Oko. That was just a huge mistake against Questing Beast killing Oko. If I don't do that, if I just make another food, we get to turn Questing Beast into a 3-3, three, three, and, and who knows? You know, then we turn Love Streak... Love, Struck Beast into a 3-3 three, three and so on, and who knows what happens from there. Alright, Archon Chulane. Agent on Treachery too slow? Kinda, yeah. But if we just flood out like we did a little bit ago, would have liked to draw it. We gotta focus on getting to that part of the game though. So do I wanna take out Chu Lane? Elite Guard Mage. I'll take out the Guard Mage. It's not really gonna block anything of being a 2-3. Gain three life draw cards nice though. <clears throat> How do you? you don't have to apologize whatsoever? It's all good. You're good. All good. All right, so we'll play Hollowed Fountain on turn one to be able to get a blue source into play. Goose. So definitely want to play the Goose here because I want to play Vanifar next turn. You know, if we go Charming Prince, then we have to wait two turns for Vanifar. But having Vanifar out as early as possible is ideal. Goose! No, my goose. 
So ideally, we would we would fetch first before scrying, but then I may be shocking later. That may cost me life later. So that could cost me life here later, but now if we get extra lands, we get to just put them down to the bottom, and they stay down there at the bottom. Wow. Land number seven, land number eight. Yeah. Go down to the bottom. I guess, but we're going to be shuffling with Vanifar anyway. Hmm. Ideally, we will be. I guess I, I should have just played a tap land and then save the Fable Passage anyway. So many lands. Last game and this game. Come on, spell. Yay, spell. So better to kill the Spellbreaker with Questing Beast being legendary? Yeah, I think so. If I kill the Questing Beast, they could just play another Questing Beast. Now if they have another Questing Beast, they don't get to play it. Cavalier of Dawn. Ugh. We're in a rough spot. I mean, I could just shock and double deputy. Bentha doesn't have reach. That's really bad for me. That means they have another questing beast. So I... To stop another questing beast... I have to go just put a Wicked Wolf into play to block. I was planning on sacking that and going and grabbing Cavalier of Dawn. I guess I could have just done that. 
No questing beast. The only reason why I did this was to protect myself from dying to an another questing beast immediately. Nah, there it is. Alright, we need spell. Alright, so that, that attack really backfired with them having a backup beast. I guess I should have just shocked and just gone double deputy and st stolen the two creatures and then just held back the 4-4. Four four. This is what I needed to do. We're in a rough spot there. And deck did not, did not perform too well there. GG's. Yeah, like the the only reason why there was a block there was a the second questing beast, but that was not a card I could beat with all the lands we had. Hmm. The Kral Harpooner last match was was really the card that. Completely destroyed me. I needed that Vanifar turn earlier, and I needed the Vanifar before playing Prince and everything. Ugh, exact same thing. Right before I'm about to play my Vanifar, Harpooner killing my, my Goose. You are fouler than a fiend. That really hurts. Let's broaden your existence. <clears throat> yeah, Harpooner is pretty nice right now with all the Gilded Goose around. There's not really anything else it does. You know, it's, it's just a fine 3-2, but there is just so much Gilded Goose that it's, it's, uh, it's really good. Anyway, hey, Samantha. The problem with blocking with Charming Prince is I want to sack Charming Prince to Vanifar. Oh, I still got two. <laughs> Welcome to the feast. You want a good Gruul Mowu deck? Did you see the Mowu deck we played yesterday, Rain Loss? I, cause I, I talked about, like cards like with Gruul that would have, you know, like, that would have been a good reason to go Gruul. I, I didn't end up doing it to keep the mana good and everything, but. Um. These both have trample. Come 
small land. No. Uh. Brutal. Oh dear. I need my mesmerizing benthid. Obviously, that means we're dead. That means we're dead. This means Ember Cleave, and we're dead. Not dead. Not dead. Surely you must be famished. Really? Okay, we are dead. These gruel creatures have been a little rough. So just taking out my top end with the Agent of Treacheries and Great Henge and just bringing in our cheaper stuff. Honestly, I feel like maybe I should play Knight of Autumn as just a 3-mana 4-3. Maybe I should play Knight of Autumn as a 3-mana 4-3 here. I kind of hit submit too fast there. I'm not bringing, as you saw, I didn't bring in extra deputy detentions. It didn't look spectacular before. Yeah, Samantha, I am. I'm... I gotta add five years there. All right, hopefully we get to mesmerizing Benthid this time. So we'll scry looking for more land. I can flicker the goose to have more mana with goose. No, nope, we'll just play this scry. Neoform's good. Neoform turns Prince into Risen Reef. Yay, didn't kill the goose. Yay, more land drops. No blocks. So like Archon's gonna turn everything into three threes, but the kind of the problem here is that their creatures have counters, so they get to be bigger than three threes. Okay. 
Go get him, Benthid. Benthid's sweet. 3-3 three, three Goose, 3-3 three, three Illusions. Um, I kind of think we just take it. Come on, land. All right, it's land. Archon looks sweet. Get him, goose. <laughs> that was sweet. Yeah, now this is a board. Mesmerizing Benthid into Harmonious Archon. How are you getting it to, how are you getting through this? With your 3-3 beast? I don't think so. Alright, so it does turn my Cavalier of Dawn into a 3-3 also. We got seven in the air. Um All right, no trample with that thing. All right. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, all out attack was lethal? Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was more focused on playing defense and how cool our cards looked than on killing my opponent. So wait, I guess I did just bring in one Knight of Autumn that last game. Knight of Autumn has 3 mana, 4, 3 is pretty nice. I guess we're going to play that over the Chu Lane. Chu Lane's so cool, though. But, you know, we're on the draw. I feel like we probably need the Knight of Autumn. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mind because I loved watching that, too. Yeah, that, that curve, Benthid into Harmonious Archon. That's really cool. So we'll get a Plains with the Passage, and then we'll go Charming Prince Scry to look for more lands. You know, try to set up hitting a land drop with Risen Reef also. Obviously, if they have a really fast hand, they could run us over. We're going to be a little bit slower just getting set up and everything. Not a good draw. So this is not a good turn. Them having Pelt Collector, me not drawing a land. Bad turn one. All right, good turn two. They didn't have anything. Well, they could have the giant that's going to kill my Charming Prince. That would be bad. Then they get to play a 4-3 also. That's not good. Okay. So I would rather draw the Fabled Passage and have Tranquil Cove come into play tapped off of Risen Reef. That's a lot of damage here. It's just worth it. Is that Ember Cleave? It is. So 
So what do I... Obviously, like, you know, like, my opponent having a hand like this is exactly what we didn't want. Yeah, where's our benthid? If they stumbled at all, you know, like, we were going to be okay, but that's not a stumble. Turn one, you know, like, one drop, on, and then, you know, turn on one drop, turn two, removal, turn three, spellbreaker, turn four, embercleave. I would not define that as stumbling at all. If I take Spellbreaker... I'm gonna have to take Embercleave. I don't really have another option. I can't Wicked Wolf kill Pelt Collector like the, the Spellbreaker kills me. Great hand. All right, so Gruul decks ran us over, so we didn't have didn't have good enough defense against Gruul. Our deck was really cool, though. And honestly, like. If our opponent just doesn't have, like, a, a great curve one through four like that, you know, like, maybe we have a shot. Because, like, we have a, a lot, of, you know, we had a lot of good defensive cards and, and things and, you know, in our hand. But, you know, one drop, you know, just one drop removal, Spellbreaker, Embercleave the Spellbreaker. Like, it's just millions of damage, unfortunately. Um... But this deck was really cool. Really liked it. I made a couple of mistakes against the Gruul deck, you know, especially like the the game one, the first time I played against Gruul, with I made the wrong decision with Oko. I went the minus five, and then it died to a Questing Beast. Man, Gruul hits so hard though. It's hard to block, you know, Questing Beast, Ember Cleave, really Ember Cleave. It's hard to block Ember Cleave, that's for sure. Um, maybe the Great Henge is not unnecessary here. Deputy Detention was pretty meh. I think we'd use some better removal. I don't know if like a time wipe in those kind of matches, if we want like one sideboard time wipe. Maybe or or something. I'm not exactly sure what. Yeah, it's just so much haste. So that's why time wipe's kind of rough. So much haste and trample. And then like Hellkite with flying. It's kind of rough, but... Um, anyway, this deck was really cool. I lost a couple matches to Gruul. That's okay. It's not like, I don't think Gruul's like unwinnable or anything. Like, it's just my opponents also had just better hands than me. I, th I think it's, it's kind of close though. Um, you know, like the, the first match we flooded out pretty bad game, game one and game two. And yeah, I made the, the bad decision with Oko. And then we were kind of struggling there with land and Kral Harpooner. Certainly won my opponent two games. Uh, you know, like, we lost 
two matches against Gruul, like two of the games, Crowl Harpooner was devastating, killing my Gilded Goose. But oh well, that's again, that's Bant Value, pretty awesome deck here, really enjoyed playing this. Um, you know, I really enjoyed playing these mid ring creatures again and everything. Neoform was awesome, Charming Prince, Risen Reef, Oko, like that, this was a really good core of the deck that I thought was going to be the core, that was really good. Um, Wicked Wolf played really well. Um, we got to Benthid, Harmonious Archon once against Gruul. That was the, the game that we won against him. Got to go with the Benthid, Harmonious Archon combo, which is awesome. I'd say that... And Chu Lane got to draw some cards against like the control deck. That was pretty cool. I'd say the card I was probably the most disappointed in was the Great Henge. I think it's probably too expensive. We probably need to take the Great Henge out and replace it with like one of these other cards, maybe another Wicked Wolf or another Tulsimer. Like, you know, just play play main deck one of these cards. I'm not sure I'm not sure which one. But one of those. Need to get one of those in here. I'm not I'm not sure which one. And there we go. Could have like could have like a devout decree or two in the sideboard. You know that doesn't really get rid of questing beast, but you know just like something else against aggro. I was kind of hoping deputy would do more. Like maybe maybe I was undervaluing deputy. Maybe I need to bring in deputies because I guess if they're main, the only really removal that we saw, I suppose, against Gruel was like bone crusher giant. So like maybe I need to get more deputies in that matchup. I was just scared the deputies were gonna die, but maybe I need to get more of them in there. Oh, well, uh, we should move on there. So, again, that's Band Value. So, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed this deck. I sure did. Hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And, you know, feel free to leave comments. We talked about in here of, like, cards that you want to see banned or, like, what, what do you want to happen to the ban list? What do you think is going to happen? What's your predictions? All that kind of stuff. You know, feel free to leave comments over there on YouTube. And no, no, none of the Flash Wolf. We're not really playing an instant speed game at all. Um... And then also, if, you enjoy, if you're enjoying my content over there on YouTube or for those of y'all here in chat, check out my Patreon page. It's, you know, it's new, like, you know, less than a week old. Um, I'm going to be putting written content up there. I talk about why the uh, moving the band announcement from, la uh, from next month up to Monday, I think, was a big mistake. I also put sideboard guides up there and everything. And, of course, like, whatever decks y'all want sideboard guides for, let me know if you're a Patreon uh, member over there too uh but that's it here for band value but yeah the the link to patreon's down below and it's three dollars a month so hopefully that's affordable for y'all to help support me there uh that's it that's all i got though that's so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video